So I wanted to create a video on the 23 benefits of OMAD, one meal a day diet, which is not really a diet, it's a kind of a, a type of intermittent fasting, where you're going 23 hours of fasting and one hour of eating. And yes, people love food, but you could actually um, set it up so, let's say you have a social event or you go out to dinner and that's when your meal is, so you're around friends, so you're not sitting there at a restaurant just like not eating, that would be not good. But let's talk about the benefits. Number one, you're going to save a lot of money. Uh, when you're only eating one meal a day, you'll probably save at least $600 a month just on that alone. It's going to save a lot of time, so you can do other things that are productive. Um, most people spend a lot of time eating, preparing for food. It takes a lot of work. Um, number three, improving digestion. You're going to give your gallbladder a chance to rest, the stomach, the pancreas, the large bowel, especially if you have irritable bowel syndrome, it'll actually help you heal that. It improves the immune system. Also, it puts your body into something called autophagy, which is the recycling of uh, junk proteins and damaged protein particles and recycles it into new tissue, but it also recycles viruses, fungus, mold, candida, which also is gonna help your immune system right there. So it's kind of a, an immune strengthening uh, activity. You're going to live longer, which is a good thing. Uh, you're going to be a lot less hungry. You would think by not eating, you're going to be starving all the time, but not when you fully adapt to fat burning, your hunger is going to go away. No more cravings. It's going to make it really easy to do this, but of course it takes a while to get into this keto um, state. But when you're fully there, you're not going to crave anymore. Uh, better skin. Because of the autophagy and the anti-aging effects, your skin is going to be a lot uh, smoother and younger. Um, increased energy, tons of physical energy. Number 11, increased mood. If you're depressed, you have anxiety, you have to realize that comes from a blood sugar problem. And when that's handled, you're gonna, your mood's going to come way up. You're going to feel much better. Number 12, increased cognitive function. Uh, this is great for dementia, improving your memory, focus, concentration, all that will improve. 13, decrease inflammatory conditions, whether you have bursitis, tendonitis, arthritis, that's going to go away because the blood sugar issues will cause inflammatory. Number 13, decrease inflammatory conditions, whether you have bursitis, tendonitis, arthritis, or even rheumatoid arthritis, this is great for that. Uh, decrease blood pressure, okay? Um, what causes blood pressure is high insulin. So this program will decrease insulin, your blood pressure will come down. Number 15, heart disease. If there's one thing that'll improve your arteries, it's doing intermittent fasting more than probably any other thing that you can possibly do. If we take the reverse of that and do high insulin and you have insulin resistance and you're a diabetic, you are gonna have a lot of problems in your arteries. Number 16, improving dementia. Okay, that's related to the cognitive function. And number 17 is definitely going to improve if you have diabetes. It's going to actually help prevent diabetes. It's going to improve the prediabetes, which is insulin resistance. It's going to improve, if not fix, hypoglycemia, which so many people have. They don't even know they have that. Number 18, it's going to actually help you if you have a fatty liver. It will take fat off the liver. Number 19, it's going to turn your body into a fat-burning machine on steroids. Um, you're going to lose your belly, you're going to get a flat belly, which is really cool. Number 20, it's going to really help your discipline because you're doing something that is almost an exercise in discipline or strengthening your self-discipline and that's going to improve because your ability to withstand from food for 23 hours. So it'll improve your, your willpower and your discipline over that. 21, improve your muscle physiology, muscle density. You would think by not eating, you would worsen your muscles, not the case. You go through a whole thing where your growth hormone improves, that's the anti-aging hormone, but growth hormone has a protective factor against muscle loss. So this is very important, especially if you want to improve uh, your muscle density and muscle mass. Number 22, it'll actually fix your metabolic rate. If you have a slow metabolism, this is the thing you need to do to finally raise it and actually get the fat off. Number 23, it's really going to improve your mental clarity. A lot of times people even feel like this euphoric feeling. You're going to feel really good. All of a sudden they start eating and then they feel worse. Okay, so definitely something you should think about doing. Food for thought, no pun intended. And I will see you in the next video.
Hey, before you go, definitely sign up for my free keto course. I put a link down below. It's on Messenger and Facebook, but it will give you all the basics. It's very quick. It's like three or four videos and it's free. Check it out.